Well, hey, it's been fun tonight singing about the big to-do. And you might be wondering, what is the big to-do? Raise your hand if you're wondering, what is the big to-do? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Um, so we all have to-do lists, and we're all busy. For kids, it might. who likes chores? Who likes chores? You like chores? OK, parents, look who is raising their hand right now. Extra chores for them. No, they might be like taking out the trash, carrying in the groceries, cleaning up your room. I can't believe it. Mowing the lawn. I used to have to mow my lawn once a week. I did that. And uh, a lot of times, we can't even go outside until our chores are done, right? We can't go outside and play. I used to sit at my window and do math homework and look at people playing outside. And I used to go, oh my goodness, I could be outside, mom. What is math going to do with? I want to be a professional hockey player. Is math going to help me? And she says, well, it will help you with your multi-million dollar hockey contract. So I said, oh, I can't argue there, mom. OK. Well, that never happened. But uh, hey, that's for kids. For adults, it might be cleaning out the garage. Dad, I know. My dad's here. Cleaning out the garage is a big to-do on his list. Save enough for retirement. Spend more time with your kids. Go to church. Read your Bible more. Get that dream boat. These are things that are on adults' to-do lists. But I do believe we are so busy that we can miss what is really important. And so in Matthew chapter 4, there's a story where Jesus is walking along the Sea of Galilee, and he sees two guys in a boat, Peter and Andrew. Guess what they were doing? Fishing. That is right. Now, do you think that fishermen have busy days? They have lists. They have to wake up early, chop up the bait, fix the nets, catch a bunch of fish, clean the boat, and then wake up and do it all over again. So they were busy guys, but they were also sinners in need of a savior. And in Matthew chapter 4, verse 19, let's read it together. It says, Jesus said, come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. And in the very next verse, in the very next verse, Matthew 4.20, read it with me. It says, at once they left their nets and followed him. These busy fishermen, these busy fishermen just dropped what they were doing and they followed Jesus it says, immediately they followed Jesus. Do you think that they were busy guys? I do too. But they did drop their nets and follow Jesus immediately. I would have thought they would have said, no, we're too busy. But why did they go immediately? Do you know why? Because they knew that the most important to do was to know 